here we are now, we're on the road, making way to our campsite for our little staycation, our weekend way. Can't wait to get there, look at the views and look at the sunshine. The weather is glorious. Let's hope it stops like this for the weekend. Catch up with you when we're back on the campsite. Bye. So here we are, we're just setting off from County Durham down to Kirby Lonsdale, which is a trip down the A1, as we see here over the A66, down the M6, and then across the A65. A nice steady drive today, beautiful sunshine, and we will catch up with you in a short while. Right, so we got set up on site yesterday afternoon, Absolutely fabulous day. Didn't do any filming because we uh, decided to have a glass of wine instead and just admire the scenery. What we're doing today is we're heading over to Ribblehead and from there to settle for a bite of lunch and on to Kirby Lonsdale this afternoon. So we'll catch up with you at Ribblehead. What can we tell you about the Ribblehead Viaduct? It was built by the Midland Railway and it started its construction in 1870, it was completed in August 1875. Its length is 440 yards, which is 400 metres, and its height is 104 feet, and it has 24 spans. It's an absolutely magnificent grade two listed structure. The workforce was 2,300 men, of which 100 lost their lives and are all buried in a local graveyard which was paid for by the railway company. It really is worth a visit, it's a fantastic part of the Yorkshire Dales. From here we're going to head down the valley and follow the route of the railway down into Settle, where we're going to grab a bit of lunch and then we'll head over to Kirby Lonsdale. So we'll catch up with you when we get to Devil's Bridge. So this is Devil's Bridge. It was believed that it was built in the 12th or 13th century. It's a real popular haunt for motorcyclists and just next to the bridge over the other side from where we are now is a large park where lots of people will picnic. We're going to take the path that takes us through into Kirby Lonsdale and on then to Ruskin's View where we'll catch up with you in a little while. Following the path you have a couple of choices. You can take a left and head into the marketplace, the swine market as pictured here and the Norman church, or you can carry on along the banks of the river till you get to a staircase. Now, these are absolutely steep as you would ever imagine. I think it's 16 levels of seven or eight steps, seriously steep. But once you get up to the top, which you can access again through the swine market, which is a much easier route, you come to Ruskin's view. Ruskin is an influential painter and poet, and it's rather interesting to know that it's reported by Vivid Cumbria that he once said, I do not know in all my own country, still less in France or Italy, a place more naturally divine. And I have to say from standing at the railings, looking up the Loon Valley, over the fells of Barben and up to the Howgills, it is an absolutely magnificent view. on forever, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, 
this is our side, and there by the seaside. Good old Morecambe Bay. A bit misty over there in the lake, mind. But this is the outskirts of Arnside. It's on the path that takes you around to Silverdale. Uh, just over the water there, the houses, and that is Grange over Sands. And then we move along to the shiny thing is the brand new road and that's the the barriers for it kind of ruined the landscape to be honest and then carry on over and we look at what's called the Lythe Valley which takes you from Millenthorpe and it's the back road that takes you over to Windermere absolutely fantastic drive up there some other little farm shops And if you're going by a railway, this is sort of the Preston Lancaster line that takes you around to Barrow in Furness, Millham, that sort of area, and up the west coast to Maryport, Wigton, Carlisle. Fantastic place, isn't it? Really lovely and peaceful. Not many people about. For anyone who recognises uh, Holgate's farm at Silverdale, they'll recognise this uh, rather narrow windy road. Oh. And I can confirm this road surface hasn't got any better since I were about 10 or 11 year old and that was 40 odd year ago. <laughs> right, we're well, now just past Silverdale station and uh, there's a bird sanctuary around here somewhere that's, uh, well there was when I was a lot younger. What we're going to do is we're going to head over this hill which is going to come up in front of us, just go over the railway, bounce a bit. That's where people a bit more local than me will be able to comment. If we follow this round and stay on the course road, I believe it brings you to what it used to be a stock car racing track down up, down up on, the, on the coastal side. We're not going to do that, we're going to go over, over the top of the of Walton Crag. Now there's probably some significance of that for for something because there's all sorts of oldy houses and bits of quarry and stuff up there I think. Simon Smith, Smithy and his Contiki. Uh, you always get somebody, don't you? It'll block the whole dam junction. Even though it's open. There you are, that's the church. Okay, There's something important about that, I can't remember what, but anyway, I'll try and find his video and I'll stick a link to it. But I have a feeling it was something to do with. Uh, people travelling to America or something like that. Right, we'll get back to you in a bit. Uh, caravan park like the one up in 
Martin's over there. I believe Caravan Nut Martin's done vlogs of both those two old gate sites. I'll try and find a link sticky in the description. Today we're we're heading straight on through Botley Sands onto Slyne and then onto Lancaster. But uh, a couple of weeks' time, we're we're actually back in this area. We're staying in Botley Sands. It's going to be a well, it is a caravan and motor club CL site, a place called Freshfields down near Hess Bank. So we're well in uh, well inside Smithy and his contiguous territory. So there may be uh, some videos then that will probably overlap because all places he's, uh, he goes to were all places when I was a kid I used to hang around. So that's it. Great, I think that'll do us for now. See you in a bit.